Brad, how are you at ice skating? You know, it's funny, I'm not terrible. I took a basic ice skating class as an elective in college. I can do a hockey stop and I can skate backwards okay. Wow, that's actually way better than every other question I've asked you on these. <laughs> um, but you're nowhere near Greg Westlake, who is a Paralympic hockey player. He was a double amputee and he wanted to be in the NHL, but his story now is even better. Check it out. I was actually born with both my feet, but they were never going to be fully functional. So it was just a decision between my parents and the doctors to do the amputation when I was you know, just months old. I'm missing both my feet, so I'm a double leg amputee uh, below the knee. I learned to skate when I was three, four years old on two artificial legs and grew up playing stand-up hockey. For me, the frustrating thing was, was not excelling the way that I, I thought I should in my mind. In my mind, I was put on this earth to play hockey. It's all I've wanted to do since I came out of the womb. I just didn't understand why I couldn't be that first guy in the NHL with two artificial legs. I didn't know what sledge hockey was growing up. I'd never met somebody that was in a wheelchair. I'd never played against somebody else that was missing a leg or anything like that. So once I was 15, 16 years old, I got to go out and, and try sledge hockey and I was able to, to really look at it for what it was and, and that's an amazing sport. When I met the uh, players on Team Canada growing up and just saw how seriously they took the sport, how skilled they were, and I just knew right then I needed to be a part of it. Mentally, because I grew up playing stand-up hockey, I knew the basics, so for me it was about learning a new skill set. How do I learn to shoot with one hand? How do I shoot with my left hand? How do I become ambidextrous? And that's a lot of work. For me, the Winter Paralympics is an A-plus, grade-A sporting event. When you're a kid in Canada, and you get to watch other people who wear that jersey and play hockey for Team Canada, that's a very special thing. I've met the best people in my life through Paralympic sport. Every day bad things happen to everybody on this earth, and it's how you take these negatives and move on. And I don't think there's a better example out there than the Paralympics. It's super inspiring. I think one of the interesting things, he talks about how he was trying to compete to be in the NHL, and so he had all the basic skills and then just adapted for you know, the Paralympics and the Paralympic sport. Um, and just an incredible competitive guy, unbelievable. I think it's really cool to watch these guys skate and compete and best of luck to them in the upcoming games. And I love the quote, bad stuff happens every single day, but it's not about what happens to you, it's about what you do with that. And that is just so awesome. And you know, as he says, the Paralympics are the utmost example of that, of people who had a bad situation, who have made the best of it and become the best in the world at what they do.